Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. I got a BGP Med quick quiz for you. And what I've got here for you on the screen are four statements. I just need you to tell me which ones are true. And I'm going to bring up an illustration in a moment and we're going to review exactly what the BGP Med is for. So let's get right to it. A, it's an optional attribute. B, it's passed from one autonomous system to another but isn't passed to another autonomous system by the receiving AS. C, the highest med is preferred. D, used to indicate to the receiving AS which one of multiple entry paths should be used to send data to the sending AS. So a couple of semi-unwieldy choices there, but we know Cisco exams are going to have those, so we got to be ready for them. And we will go through those in just a minute. A quick word, I want to thank every single one of you for your fantastic support of our winter fund drive for the Central Virginia Food Bank. And right now, you can get into my CCNP all-in-one video boot camp with the redemption code FOODBANK for $99. That's less than $2 an hour for my world-class CCNP training. And we thank you again for your support of that great cause. Now, let's talk about this BGP Med for a few minutes. First off, we have to know which one of our attributes you know, are, are mandatory, which ones are optional. The Med is definitely optional, and you'll see why in a moment. Now, choice B, it's passed from one AS to another, but isn't passed to another AS by the receiving AS. That's actually true. And let's take a look at this illustration. Here we've got three routers in AS100, one router in AS200, router 3, and what we want to do here is indicate to router 3 which one of these two paths into AS100 it should use, that there is a preferred path. And you can see router 2 is sending a med of 100, router 1 is sending a med of 200, so we better know which one of those is preferred, right? But again, as for choice B, router 3 would not then pass these values on to another router in, say, AS300. There would be no reason to. Uh, so B is absolutely true in that the receiving AS does not then pass that med on to routers in another AS. Is the highest med preferred? No. It's actually the lowest med. So in this particular case, the path from router 3 to router 2 would be the preferred path when R3 is sending data to AS100. And the final choice used to indicate to the receiving AS which one of multiple entry paths should be used to send data to the sending AS. That is absolutely true. That's exactly what the MED is. It's the multi-exit discriminator. And to me, it's easy to look at these as entry paths as well, but the full name is multi-exit discriminator. If you just remember that first part, it'll tell you that when you've got multiple exits, then you need to indicate or can indicate to this router in another AS, hey, here's the path you ought to use to send data in here. Again, it's an optional attribute, but it can be a very helpful one. Thanks for taking today's CCNP route and T-Shoot Quick Quiz. I'm Chris Bryant, and thanks for making us part of your CCNP success story.